Hey everyone, uh, this is uh, Vanny Ryan, the first vlog of the year, and I really wanted to try to do more uh, book reviews this year because uh, I really feel like I'm dredging it down with this. I don't expect this to be a popular channel, but I also want to try to keep it as active as I can uh, while we go on. But uh, I recently uh, sent the first two chapters of my new book to a friend of mine who's also a professional author. And then it dawned on me, I actually haven't reviewed any of his books, and I've read all of his, all three of his books. So I definitely want to try to, like, do, like, a good favor and, like, leave uh, what I thought of his work. Because I appreciate his uh, thoughts on my own book, and I am taking a lot of his notes into consideration as we go on. But I'm talking about uh, author Jeff Shaw, and I'm going to start off with his very first novel, Lieutenant Trufant. Now... He is a real, a really cool. Uh, he is a former uh, retired police officer from Florida, and he's now writing thrillers. And that is almost like near perfect because you think of John Grissom as like a former lawyer, and now he talks about all these lawyer corrupt stories and all of that. Uh, I actually kind of wish I had done a reread of this to really like focus my thoughts, but I kind of feel like my first impressions on all these books will be like a fairly a good summary. Uh, this is definitely, uh, it's definitely one of those books where, like, it's really, like, going back and forth between, like, a whole ensemble of characters. And, uh, the homeless man who takes up a lot of this, uh, a lot of this book, uh, he is actually, like, probably the most endearing character out of the whole book. You go through, like, his experiences. And I was literally reading this, like, on one of my lunch breaks at work. And, like, within, like, a couple of chapters, I was actually feeling like I needed to take a shower because I really felt that I had r really been on the street for about a week, and it had that effect on me. Uh, the The only issue I really had with this is, oddly enough, with Lieutenant Trufant himself, or Trufant, I don't know, I'm, I'm more Espanol than Frances. So, uh, while he's not a bad character, he's n he's not really a memorable one, unfortunately. I, I kind of feel like I've seen that kind of character done in so many other police thrillers uh, that it didn't bring anything fresh to me. I do like it, but I do think of like the three books that I'm going to be reviewing. It's like the lesser one, but it's his first novel, and I was very engaged in it, and it did leave me wanting to read the rest of his work. So I, I do say, I do give a good thumbs up on it, although I do feel like, <sighs> I really don't want to say, like, it already felt cliche because it just feels like CSI and CIS, those kind of, like, crime thrillers that, like, most everybody knows. And I do feel like, had this been written, like, earlier in, like, mid-2000s, I kind of feel like this would be, like, very much, like, uh, an ideal for a TV series around that time. But, very good book. I just don't really care for the first, the leading character, the named character. Uh, but the other character, it's one of those weird things where, like, I appreciate, like, the background characters or the supporting cast more than I do, like, the lead characters. That's happened before, and it's really just, uh, the main character really has to stick out for me on something like that, if you're going to have, like, such an ensemble character, if you can't like that, so... That's just my thoughts on uh, Lieutenant Trufant, so check out the next video, everyone.